In the United States, a continuing resolution often abbreviated to CR is a type of appropriations legislation. An appropriations bill is a bill that appropriates gives to, sets aside for money to specific federal government departments, agencies, and programs. The money provides funding for operations, personnel, equipment, and activities. Regular appropriations bills are passed annually, with the funding they provide covering one fiscal year. The fiscal year is the accounting period of the federal government, which runs from October 1 to September 30 of the following year. When Congress and the President fail to agree on and pass one or more of the regular appropriations bills, a continuing resolution can be passed instead. A continuing resolution continues the pre-existing appropriations at the same levels as the previous fiscal year or with minor modifications for a set amount of time. Continuing resolutions typically provide funding at a rate or formula based on the previous year's funding. The funding extends until a specific date or regular appropriations bills are passed, whichever comes first. There can be some changes to some of the accounts in a continuing resolution. The continuing resolution takes the form of a joint resolution, and may provide bridging funding for existing federal programs at current, reduced, or expanded levels. Appropriations bills An appropriations bill is a bill that appropriates gives to, sets aside for money to specific federal government departments, agencies, and programs. The money provides funding for operations, personnel, equipment, and activities. Traditionally, regular appropriations bills are passed annually, with the funding they provide covering one fiscal year. There are three types of appropriations bills, regular appropriations bills, continuing resolutions, and supplemental appropriations bills. Regular appropriations bills are the 12 standard bills that cover the funding for the federal government for one fiscal year and that are supposed to be enacted into law by October 1. If Congress has not enacted the regular appropriations bills by the time, it can pass a continuing resolution, which continues the pre-existing appropriations at the same levels as the previous fiscal year or with minor modifications for a set amount of time. The third type of appropriations bills are supplemental appropriations bills, which add additional funding above and beyond what was originally appropriated at the beginning of the fiscal year. Supplemental appropriations bills can be used for things like disaster relief. United States budget and spending process The United States government operates on a budget calendar that runs from October 1 through September 30. Each year, Congress must appropriate a specific amount of money to each department, agency, and program to provide funding for operations, personnel, equipment, and activities. Traditionally, the United States House of Representatives and the United States Senate agree together on a budget resolution in the spring that is then used to determine spending limits for 12 regular appropriations bills. The 12 appropriations bills then appropriate the funding for the federal government to use for the next budgetary year. The appropriations bills must be signed into the law by the president, although the budget resolution itself is not subject to his or her approval. If Congress fails to appropriate the necessary funds for the federal government, the government shuts down as a result of the Anti-Deficiency Act. The law forbids federal officials from entering into financial obligations for which they do not have funding such as buying ink, paying for electricity, or paying employees, Congress can avoid a government shutdown by passing a continuing resolution instead. <inaudible> <inaudible> advantages and disadvantages Standoffs between the President and Congress or between political parties, elections, and more urgent legislative matters complicate the budget process, frequently making the continuing resolution a common occurrence in American government. They allow the government to take its time making difficult fiscal decisions. Federal agencies are disrupted during periods of reduced funding. With non-essential operations suspended, many agencies are forced to interrupt research projects, training programs, or other important functions. Its impact on day-to-day -day management can be severe, costing some employees the equivalent of several months' time. History 
Between fiscal year 1977 and fiscal year 2015, Congress only passed all 12 regular appropriations bills on time in four years. Fiscal years 1977, 1989, 1995, and 1997. Between 1980 and 2013, there have been eight government shutdowns in the United States. Most of these shutdowns revolved around budget issues, including fights over the debt ceiling, and led to the furlough of certain non essential personnel. The majority of these fights lasted one to two days with a few exceptions lasting more than a week. There was a government shutdown that occurred in 1995. This incident involved a standoff between Democratic President, Bill Clinton, and Congressional Republicans that led to the shutdown of the federal government. Without enough votes to override President Clinton's veto, Newt Gingrich led the Republicans not to submit a revised budget, allowing the previously approved appropriations to expire on schedule. The resulting lack of appropriations led to the shutdown of non-essential functions of the federal government for 28 days due to lack of funds. In 2013, Congress failed to agree on any regular appropriations bills prior to the start of fiscal year 2014. An attempt was made to pass the Continuing Appropriations Resolution, 2014 H.J. Res. 59 prior to October 1, but the House and Senate could not agree on its provisions, leading to the United States federal government shutdown of 2013. The shutdown of October 2013 involved a dispute over the continuing resolution in a standoff between Democratic President Barack Obama and Congressional Republicans led by House Speaker John Boehner. The forefront issue was House Republicans' attempt to tie a continuing resolution to a defunding or delay of the Patient Protection and Affordable Care Act while Senate Democrats insisted on a clean spending bill not tied to any other changes. The lack of agreement led to a prolonged shutdown and furlough of more than 800,000 federal workers. The federal government resumed operations on October 17, 2013 after the passage of a continuing resolution, the Continuing Appropriations Act, 2014, that provided funding until January 15, 2014. On January 15, 2014, Congress passed another continuing resolution, H.J. Res. 106 making further continuing appropriations for fiscal year 2014, to provide funding until January 18, 2014. Congress finally passed the Consolidated Appropriations Act, 2014, an omnibus appropriations bill, on January 17, 2014 to provide funding for the remaining fiscal year 2014. <laughs> List of continuing resolutions for the U.S. Federal budget <laughs> 2001 U.S. Federal budget Continuing Appropriations Resolution, 2001, First, Pub. L. 106-275 Continuing Appropriations Resolution, 2001, Second, Pub. L. 106-282 Continuing Appropriations Resolution, 2001, Third, Pub. L. 106-306 Continuing Appropriations Resolution, 2001, 4th, Pub. L. 106-344 Continuing Appropriations Resolution, 2001, 5th, Pub. L. 106-358 Continuing Appropriations Resolution, 2001, 6th, Pub. L. 106-359 Continuing Appropriations Resolution, 2001, 7th, Pub. L. 106-381 Continuing Appropriations Resolution, 2001, 8th, Pub. L. 106-388 Continuing Appropriations Resolution, 2001, 9th, Pub. L. 106-389 Continuing Appropriations Resolution, 2001, 10th, Pub. L. 106-401 Continuing Appropriations Resolution, 2001, 11th, Pub. L. 106-403 Continuing Appropriations Resolution, 2001, 12th, Pub. L. 106-416 Continuing Appropriations Resolution, 2001, 13th, Pub. L. 106-426 Continuing Appropriations Resolution, 2001, 14th, Pub. L. 106-427 Continuing Appropriations Resolution, 2001, 15th, Pub. L. 106-428 
Continuing Appropriations Resolution, 2001 16, Pub. L. 106-520 Continuing Appropriations Resolution, 2001 17, Pub. L. 106-537 Continuing Appropriations Resolution, 2001 18, Pub. L. 106-539 Continuing Appropriations Resolution, 2001 19, Pub. L. 106-540 Continuing Appropriations Resolution, 2001 20, Pub. L. 106-542 Continuing Appropriations Resolution, 2001 21, Pub. L. 106-543 2002 U.S. Federal Budget Continuing Appropriations Resolution, 2002, 8th, Pub. L. 107 to 97. Topic: 2003 U.S. Federal Budget. Continuing Appropriations Resolution, 2003, first, Pub. L. 107 to 229. Continuing Appropriations Resolution, 2003 second, Pub. L. 107-235 Continuing Appropriations Resolution, 2003 third, Pub. L. 107-240 Continuing Appropriations Resolution, 2003 fourth, Pub. L. 107-244 Continuing Appropriations Resolution, 2003 fifth, Pub. L. 107-294 Continuing Appropriations Resolution, 2003 sixth, Pub. L. 108-2 Continuing Appropriations Resolution, 2003 seventh, Pub. L. 108-4 Continuing Appropriations Resolution, 2003 eighth, Pub. L. 108-5 2007 U.S. Federal Budget Continuing Appropriations Resolution, 2007 first, Division B of Pub. L. 109-289 Continuing Appropriations Resolution, 2007 second, Pub. L. 109-369 Continuing Appropriations Resolution, 2007 third, Pub. L. 109-383 Revised Continuing Appropriations Resolution, 2007, Pub. L. 110-5 2008 U.S. Federal Budget Continuing Appropriations Resolution, 2008 first, Pub. L. 110-92 Continuing Appropriations Resolution, 2008 second, Division B of Pub. L. 110-116 Continuing Appropriations Resolution, 2008, third, Pub. L. 110-137 Continuing Appropriations Resolution, 2008, fourth, Pub. L. 110-149 2009 U.S. Federal Budget Continuing Appropriations Resolution, 2009 first, Division A of Pub. L. 110-329 Continuing Appropriations Resolution, 2009 second, Pub. L. 111-6 2010 U.S. Federal Budget Continuing Appropriations Resolution, 2010 first, Division B of Pub. L. 111-68 Continuing Appropriations Resolution, 2010 second, Division B of Pub. L. 111-88 2011 U.S. Federal Budget Beginning in September 2010, Congress passed a series of continuing resolutions to fund the government. First continuing resolution, funding from October 1, 2010 through December 3, 2010, passed on September 29, 2010. 
Pub. L. 111-242 Second Continuing Resolution, funding through December 18, 2010, passed on December 2, 2010. Pub. L. 111-290 Third Continuing Resolution, funding through December 21, 2010, passed on December 17, 2010. Pub. L. 111-317 Fourth Continuing Resolution, funding through March 4, 2011, passed on December 21, 2010. Pub. L. 111-322 Fifth Continuing Resolution, Further Continuing Appropriations Amendments, 2011 Funding through March 18, 2011, passed on March 2, 2011. Pub. L. 112-4 This resolution cut $4 billion from 2010 spending levels. Sixth Continuing Resolution. Additional Continuing Appropriations Amendments, 2011. Funding through April 8, 2011, passed on March 16, 2011. Pub. L. 112-6 This resolution cut an additional $6 billion from 2010 spending levels. Seventh Continuing Resolution. Further Additional Continuing Appropriations Amendments, 2011. Funding through April 15, 2011, passed on April 9, 2011. Pub. L. 112-8 This continuing resolution followed a deal on the full annual budget which was made with just hours remaining before a government shutdown. It itself contains an additional $2 billion in cuts. Democrats had previously rejected a Republican-backed resolution passed by the House before the deal, which would have funded the government for another week and cut an additional $12 billion from 2010 levels. <laughs> 2013 U.S. federal budget The government began fiscal year 2013 operating under the Continuing Appropriations Resolution, 2013 Pub. L. 112-175, which provided funding through March 27, 2013. It was signed by President Obama on September 28, 2012. Spending through the end of fiscal year 2013 is authorized by the Consolidated and Further Continuing Appropriations Act, 2013, signed into law by President Obama on March 26, 2013. 2014 U.S. federal budget Continuing Appropriations Resolution, 2014 H.J. Res. 59 H.J. Res. 59 A proposed continuing resolution that failed final passage, leading to the United States federal government shutdown of 2013 October 2013 Mini Continuing Resolutions, continuing resolutions proposed during the 2013 federal government shutdown that would have funded small portions of the government Continuing Appropriations Act, 2014, Pub. L. 113 to 46, H.R. 2775, continuing resolution that ended the federal government shutdown and appropriated funds through January 15, 2014. Making further continuing appropriations for fiscal year 2014, appropriated funds through January 18, 2014. Consolidated Appropriations Act, 2014, H.R. 3547 113th Congress proposed as of January 16, 2014. Topic: 2015 US Federal Budget. Continuing Appropriations Resolution 2015 a continuing resolution that would fund the federal government of the United States through December 11, 2014 at an annualized rate of 1 trillion dollars. On September 17, 2014, the House voted in roll call vote 509 to pass the bill 319-108. On September 18, 2014, the United States Senate voted in roll call vote 270 to pass the bill 78-22. 2016 U.S. federal budget Continuing Appropriations Resolution, 2016 A continuing resolution that would fund the federal government of the United States through December 11, 2015 at an annualized rate of $1.02 trillion. Topic: 2017 U.S. Federal Budget 
Continuing Appropriations Resolution, 2017 Pub. L. 114-223 A continuing resolution that would fund the federal government of the United States through December 9, 2016 at 0.496% below the operating rate of the FY 2016 enacted appropriation. On September 28, 2016, the Senate voted 72 to 26 to pass the bill and later that day, the House voted 342 to 85 to pass the bill. The President signed the bill on September 29, 2016. The bill also included full-year funding for military construction and veterans affairs and emergency funding for Zika virus response and preparedness. Topic 2018 U.S. federal budget Division D of Continuing Appropriations Act, 2018 and Supplemental Appropriations for Disaster Relief Requirements Act, 2017 Pub. L. 115-56, extending temporary funding until December 8, 2017. Further Continuing Appropriations Act, 2018, Pub. L. 115-90, extending temporary funding through December 22, 2017. Further Additional Continuing Appropriations Act, 2018, Pub. L. 115-96, extending temporary funding through January 19, 2018. Further extension of Continuing Appropriations Act, 2018, enacted as Subdivision 3 of Division B of Honoring Hometown Heroes Act, H.R. 1892, extending temporary funding through March 23, 2018. See also Government shutdown in the United States <laughs>